Hello everyone, welcome to Model Universe. In this channel, I am going to take lectures on the radiology subjects. And before going into the video, let me introduce myself. My name is Abhinash and I have completed my undergraduate in radiology and imaging technology at Sri Shaktiyama Institute of Allied Science in Vellore. So, now let's move to the lecture. Do you want to know how X-rays were discovered? Stay there. I'll tell you how. X-rays were accidentally discovered by a German physicist called William Conrad Rongen on November 8, 1895. So, when he was investigating the Crookes tube, he noticed these rays. Okay. So, this Crookes tube was first invented on 1875 by British chemist called William Crookes. So, the main intention of his discovery is to see how does electricity conducts with the air when it was filled at the low pressure in the tube. So, this was the concept. So, Ranjan is also interested in this uh, investigation and he started the investigation by giving a high voltage current to the electrodes of the tube. So, when he gave a high voltage current, he noticed the barium platinocyanate screen which was kept a distance away from the tube was fluorescing on the table. So, he was astonished about this incident and he, after some times later, he wrapped the tube with the paper. Uh, and again he gave a current supply to the electrodes but again the screen was fluorescing on the table so to find the original cause for this he left his duties to the university aside and he spent his next six weeks in his laboratory and working alone and between the six weeks, Christmas was also arrived. So, three days before the Christmas, he brought his wife called Betha to his laboratory and he exposed her left hand by this rays by subsequently replacing the fluorescent screen with the photographic plate. So, after exposing the photographic plate, she took the plate for developing and after development, he noticed the bones and the wedding ring which she won is visualized on the screen. So this was the first ever x-ray image of the human body which was not used for the diagnostic purpose. That's great, right? So finally he concluded two predictions. Number one is these rays can penetrate easily through paper cardboard, wood, soft tissues, etc. and but these rays are stopped by bones and metals, etc. And number two is, these rays can cast shadows on the photographic plane. So, these are the two predictions he concluded. So, most of the students may have a doubt, how does these rays uh, can penetrate in soft tissues but stopped by bones? There is a reason for this. So the reason is, when your atomic number is higher, the energy of these rays cannot go and ionize the electron from the atom. And when your atomic number is lesser, the energy of these rays can easily go and ionize the electron from the atom. So this is the reason why does bones stop or absorb these rays and these rays can penetrate in soft tissues. Okay, so mm, you may got a doubt now. Whether the higher atomic number atoms can be ionized when I increase my X-ray energy? Yes, surely you can go and ionize the higher atomic atoms when your energy of this rays is higher. Okay, so I'll explain this physics briefly in my upcoming videos with the schematic diagrams. Okay, so now let's come into the history. And hence, due to his uncertainty over the nature of these new rays, he adapted the mathematical designation X to reflect the mysterious nature of these rays. So this was the reason why does these rays got the name as X rays. And 
After five years later, that is exactly December 10, 1901, the Sweden and the Norwegian Nobel Committee awarded the first Nobel Prize for Physics to our Philip Conrad Rongen for this new discovery of the x -rays. And that's it about the short history on the discovery of the X-rays. And I think this video is useful for you. And if you have any doubts or feedbacks on this lecture, feel free to put a comment on my comment box. I'll try to make it on my upcoming videos. And if you want to get my upcoming videos, you can subscribe my channel. Thank you.